guys, welcome back to another video. I know I have been MIA for a while. No one even noticed. But what can I say? Sometimes life happens, so I really appreciate you guys for bearing with me. No one cares. Now I keep promising to do a continuation of that Airtable video that I did about two months ago. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. No one gives a sh Oh wait, this is actually a good topic. Now I have already made a spreadsheet on loads. So today we're going to be covering how to make a spreadsheet on expenses. Ready? Let's go. Now, before we get into this video, I want to make a mini announcement. Every week on Wednesday, I will be releasing an Airtable related video. And basically we're going to be building out that TMS system together until it is fully complete. So hopefully by the end of this series, you guys have a well-rounded idea and a well-rounded transportation management system to start managing your business. I'm ready. All right, so we already did the load spreadsheet in that first video. Now we're going to be doing the expenses spreadsheet. I do have this part of the screen covered because this is my personal information here. So uh, just ignore this. This is not going to be on your version of the Airtable all you have to do is you have to click add a base right here. Okay, so once we have this, let's name our base operating expenses. And then I like to make it in red and I like to choose an icon that shows that this is money going away. This is my least favorite spreadsheet of Airtable for obvious reasons. So now we can rename the tab right here. What I do is I put expenses by truck. So I will have unit number and then uh, all the operating expenses for that truck go under that tab. And I have several tabs for several trucks. Now, what you can do if you're a one truck company is you can just name it operating expenses. Um, and that's all you have to do. So now let's build this baby out. So number one is going to be the name. You can leave this as it is. Now let's go ahead and delete these three tabs because we want a fresh spreadsheet. So click on the arrow right here, delete field, and do that a couple more times. And then what we're going to do is hit that plus sign. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to name this field category and I like to do single select. Now we're going to get back to this in a moment. Let's just create the field for now. Next, we will put in a long text. Now the long text will be any notes on this particular expense and I like to make it a little bit bigger. Then click another tab and put in the date right here. And this will be date paid so that you can track by when you paid for that expense. Now, of course, we can't forget the dollar amount. So click add field, click on currency right here, and we'll put in amount. Make sure the precision is set to two decimal places. At least that's what I do and create field. Now, another thing I have is another single select. And here I will put payment type and I'll explain what I do here. So we'll create the field and there we go. Now let me explain what the heck this actually is. So number one, let's say you have a small maintenance expense that you do at a travel centers America. So what I would put in name is the name of the vendor travel centers of America or TA. We can put TA right here. There we go. And we can make this a little bit larger. Now for category, this is the fun part. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this arrow right here. We're going to customize field type and then we're going to create some options. So which options do I have? Well, I have number one, tools, load board, equipment, and this relates to the truck and trailer payments. Then I have any uh, drug and alcohol consortium expenses. Then we have fuel related expenses, ELD, insurance, maintenance, accounting, taxes, tools, accessories for the truck, permits, scales, washes, payroll if you're hiring drivers, parking, 
and let's put miscellaneous expenses right here. So you can also color coordinate it. So you can click on any of these little arrows and you can choose a different kind of color. Um, I will just leave it as it is and then we click save. Perfect. So in Travel Centers of America, you have to do a little bit of maintenance. So what do we do? We start typing in maintenance. There we go. And then we'll put a notes, let's say, mm, I don't know, trailer tire repair. And let's say you did this on 510 today. And the amount paid was $450. Now payment type. The reason I have this is to keep track of where the money is coming from. Some vendors will require uh, direct deposits, ACH. Some vendors will not take credit cards, so you have to pay with a debit card. Some allow credit card payments. So here, what you can do is customize field type and also add options. What I have is a credit card, I have a debit card, and then I have ACH. So that way I know exactly where that money came from. So let's say here you used a credit card to pay for this maintenance and that's pretty much it, you're done. Now this is gonna drive me crazy, so let me just um, correct this credit card. There we go. Much better. Okay, perfect. So why do I categorize these expenses? Well, it's pretty simple. Let me show you. So here are the expenses of one of the trucks. Uh, now you will see here it's notes instead of categories and attachments instead of notes. And that's because I didn't rename these. Uh, I should probably do that. Let's see, category. Uh, and let's put in notes. There we go. So, mm, yes, I do. So why do I put in categories? Because at any point I can filter. Let, oh, well, I'm not going to do that. So what I can do is I can click filter, add condition, and let's say I want the category to only contain fuel. I only want to see how much we spent on fuel. So there we go. We have by month how much we spent on fuel. Um, you will see, for example, in December, we spent $5,100 on fuel. In January, it was uh, almost, well, almost $6,000 and so on and so forth. And that way I can filter through categories and see how the expense changes month by month for a certain category. So let's go ahead and continue filling this out so that you get comfortable with this operating expenses spreadsheet. Let's say you have a fuel expense. Uh, let's say you use RTS for your fuel card. So you'll put in RTS fuel card. The category is fuel. And you can put in this is for um, the dates of five, I don't know, one, 22, oops, five, one, 22, two, five, seven, 22. Uh, day paid was, let's say five, seven, and the amount was uh, $2,500, and you paid via ACH, right? And that way you can continue putting in all of your expenses, categorizing them, and in future videos, I will show you how all of this information, all of these spreadsheets we are now creating can be put together into reports, which is awesome. And one more thing I want to show you, and we're going to return to this truck's expenses, you can create, so you will start off with a grid view, which will have all your records here. And what you can do is you can create, you just go to grid, you will put in, for example, uh, current month expenses, right? Then you create new view. And what's going to happen, it's going to copy all the data from the grid view. But for the current month expenses, what you can do is filter by date. So for example, right now it's May. So we can add a condition where date paid is before, we'll put in it's before June 1st because we want May, and where date paid is after April 30th. And that way it gives you any day between May 1st until May 31st. And that way you will see all your expenses for the current month. So a pretty cool trick. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.